Quad 3, video walkthrough for nextgenwalkthroughs.com on the very hard difficulty. Alright, here we are at Rivet City to finish the last section of the, uh, the survival guide. Uh, it's the history on Rivet City. Morning. Come in here during the normal shopping the hours uh, in the marketplace. Talk to Bannon. After you're done talking to Bannon, uh, Why, I, practically now I'm on the I had to do some wandering around. I don't know what time he comes into work, but uh, Seagrave. Uh, in the That's middle just the uh, storefront really. this wasn't uh, on the other side. But I suppose uh, if you the next person to talk to, and he'll bring up uh, Pinkerton. Uh, talking to these two guys will get you the minimum reward for finishing the quest. Come However, back. if you go to Pinkerton, Hello. Uh, you get the maximum reward. Cut it out. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave... A what? Look, if you just... Oh, I really wouldn't know. I... Last... Used to have a... My... Nice to see you. Alright, in order to pick the lock, you need to have a lock pick skill of 100. Um, I think there's supposed to be a way you can swim underneath the boat and come up underneath where uh, there's a bunch of mire larks that you can hear uh, walking around whenever you come in here, but uh, we won't have to run into any of um, them. You know, the place is somewhat booby trapped. Uh, the dynamo box should always have 44 caliber rounds for the scoped 44 over there. Um, make sure you get the mine off first. And down the hall you'll see, in the next area, the hallway, uh, there's some gas fumes going there. Uh, I don't know what triggers it, but if you walk down there, um, they'll explode with you in it. Uh, probably won't kill you, but it definitely sucks. Using that computer over there will blow up right in your face, so just come back here and hit the switch on there. Come inside, go around up the stairs, and there's Mr. Pinkerton. Talk to him. Um, hey, there's a lot of cool stuff you can steal here, so definitely come back hmm. if you're this don't mind the bad karma. I, I, uh, I guess I should point out now that uh, ah. since you've got the hunter lockpick skill. Um, for that, if you got a lot of purified all, water or we looking, some other things you can trade in for good everything. karma, Rivet City is a great place to go around and that pick locks off she stuff uh, even and pickpocketing. Uh, every house in there has of a key on the person that lives in it Here. that you can take off or you can uh, pick the locks. However, if you have the key, everything inside of there um, can be opened up with that key so you don't have to worry about breaking your bobby pins or anything. But um, you get experience for picking locks so it's pretty nice. You can actually level up probably just by walking around stealing stuff. Uh, just be careful not to get too evil or else, you know, you know 
talon group after you. Uh, another thing you can also steal is uh, the armory key. I think all the guards in the town have it. And it's on the second floor in the, um, the stairwell area. Uh, there's a robot patrolling outside of it. Yeah, you can lie to him and tell him to go check something out down the hall. He'll leave, use the key on the armory, and once you get inside there's going to be a uh, robot sentry right in the door. Uh, just give him a few shotgun blasts and he'll be done and you can steal everything in there. Um, most importantly, there's a schematic in there for Any the rocket launcher. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Rocket launcher is the thing that shoots garbage. Aha! Uh -huh. um, Not just as easy as asking. That's pretty much it for this guy. <laughs> hmm. Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor for Oh, it's great! I'll share these with the traders and But first See ya.